Welcome fellow adventurers and thank you for coming to check out my channel Graph Paper Architect where we're going to be discussing all things game design. This very first video that I did had some technical difficulties as you can tell but I decided to keep it and go ahead and show it to you because the 5 W's matrix is a fantastic place to start and also a place to go to anytime that you have any difficulties with any elements of game design. So you're going to be seeing that come up quite a bit as we continue to move forward in our video adventures. So thank you again for coming by and checking me out. And I hope you enjoy this very first video. Welcome, fellow adventurers. On this episode of Graph Paper Architect, I'm going to be talking about the five W's of design. The five W's of design are a very powerful and simple tool that can help you in any design element that you're working on. Could be an NPC, could be an item, a quest, anything at all. So what are the five W's? Well, they are questions that you need to ask in order to get yourself out of a jam or add some more depth to your designs. Who, what, when, where, and why. Every single one of those W's will lead you down a different path, and every one of those paths will add a lot of depth to whatever it is that you're designing in whatever setting that you're designing. It could be tabletop, it could be video games, anything at all, even a story, a script. Those five W's are going to be your best friend. So let's go ahead and go through the process a little bit, shall we? We'll take one of the W's, who, and we'll go ahead and pick out a very simple NPC, Bill the Blacksmith. So now we have Bill the Blacksmith. Who is Bill the Blacksmith? Well, he's Bill. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself there. The who W is actually adding a lot more depth when you begin to ask other questions as far as Bill. And you ask, who is Bill's parents? Who does Bill hate? Or who does Bill love? Who does Bill want dead? Or who does Bill want you to save? There's lots of who questions that you can go ahead and ask about Bill. And suddenly now Bill has depth. He's got a history. He's got reasons for you to interact with him. and Reasons for him to want to maybe send you on a quest. Now for the next one. What? And who and what? very much interact. They are very symbiotic, I like to say, because who does Bill love, let's say? Bill loves the magistrate, okay? And then you can say, what does Bill love? Well, you could say, besides his work, obviously, what does Bill love? Bill loves the law. He loves the magistrate, and he also loves the law. Or, Perhaps you can even switch it and say, what does Bill hate? Well, Bill hates the way the law makes the magistrate go around and collect taxes. And he is in love with this magistrate, and the magistrate is sad because he has to go out and collect all of these taxes. And Bill is in love with him, but the law is anti to what they believe. So what does Bill hate? He hates the law. But who does he love? He loves the magistrate. Now you've got some interesting character things going on with that. So you have who, and you have what, and when, where, why. All of these elements you then can attach to whatever it is that you're working on, and it will branch out and begin to give you the depth of the character or the item. You can even use it for any kind of item, really. A chair, a table, a magical item, a non-magical item, a sp anything at all. And... Right here, I'm going to go ahead and ask you, the audience, go ahead and please put in the comments any items or situations that you believe that the who, what, where, when, and why matrix would not apply. Give me a challenge. Challenge me with anything that you can come up with, and I bet that I can go ahead and I will answer your questions and say, this is how these five W's can apply to just about anything that you can put out there. So if you don't mind doing that, that'd be great. I'd appreciate it. Now, when? When is Bill? And this is a very important question because this also begins to tap into your world building. Is Bill now? Is Bill in the future? 
when is your time frame for your campaign? Is it medieval setting? Is it a fantasy setting where it's in the future or the past? When is very applicable, as well as all of the other aspects of when for Bill. When does he go to work? When does he go to bed? When does he have dinner? You know, maybe you have a sneaky thief party and they're wondering when Bill won't be there so they can get inside and steal some of the magical horseshoes that Bill makes. Or, you know, you could come up with when does Bill want you to go out and get some of the mithril that was in the mines that they were run off from the whichever kobolds or goblins ran them out of the mine and now they need you to go and get them. But when is it? Well, he needs it right away because the Duke needs some horseshoes. He needs them bad. He was out there and man, he, those horseshoes just came flying off and because the Duke didn't listen and he ran into the swamp and who knows. But you see what I'm saying? You can. It begins to tap your mind. Anytime that you're stuck, anytime that you begin to need a little bit of a nudge, begin with questions. And questions are one of your most powerful tools in design that's going to give you that push or just give you the little pieces that are going to add to whatever it is that you're doing. Now, of course, we don't expect you to do it to everything. I mean, that's going to take you hours upon hours, and then you're only done with Bill the Blacksmith and Betty the Barber, and you know, then you've been six hours into your design, and you only have two people, because these rabbit holes, while they are fantastically powerful, they're also easy to begin to suck up your time and resources, so you have to be careful. You know, watch how much you apply to a specific thing because, yeah, you, know, you don't want to have to have Bill's entire lineage. So, who, what, when, where, and why? The five W's of design. And remember, you can apply these W's to any item, anything, any situation, any person. Write these items down as a matrix, apply them to anything that you're doing, and it will give you a nice boost, and some depth to your designs. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch or listen to this broadcast. And if you found any value in it, I'd like to ask you to please like it, subscribe, hit the notification, and share it with somebody that's important to you. I'd appreciate that very much. So, until next time, friends, good journey. <laughs>